developing this afternoon, a family says that it cannot believe that they lost a husband and a father in a deadly shooting at a baby shower. Channel 2 Gwinnett County Bureau Chief Matt Johnson live at Gwinnett County Jail and Matt, uh, his girlfriend's in jail too. That's right, the a man and his girlfriend will remain here in the Gwinnett County Jail with no bond, and the victim's family says that is where they belong. Now, it's the boyfriend accused of pulling the trigger, but his girlfriend is accused of also attacking a father of five before his death. From now, now on, you don't, you don't feel safety anywhere. The chairs, drinks, and even a stuffed animal are left behind from a baby shower that turned deadly over the weekend in Gwinnett County. 39-year-old Angel Mendoza died Sunday after family and friends say he took a gun away from a guest who was shooting it recklessly. It's tough right now. I just still can't believe it that he's gone. A friend who doesn't want to be identified told me Mendoza and his wife were guests at the party Saturday on Pepperwood Trail. Family members say 26-year-old Esteban Avila Vega brought a gun and accidentally shot himself in the foot. It was around 1 in the morning when the family says Mendoza took the gun from him. Witnesses told police Avila Vega came back with a different gun and shot the father of six multiple times. I don't wish to no one to, I guess, feel this type of pain that the family and the wife is feeling. Mendoza's mother has been holding on to photos of her son since his death. She says in Spanish her son's killer showed no heart and doesn't deserve to be free. By Sunday afternoon, police arrested and charged Avila Vega with murder. Detectives arrested Vega's girlfriend, 26-year-old Suma Mejia Oriana, and charged her with aggravated assault. Police say she hit Mendoza over the head with a beer bottle before the shooting. Now Mendoza's loved ones say they're staying strong for his wife and children. We're always going to remember by him and always the smile that he always had in his face. Now, the family is raising money for funeral expenses for the wife and children. We put information on how to help at WSBTV.com. Live in Gwinnett County, Matt Johnson, Channel 2 Action News.